Hey guys, it's Kaylee from KBooks and this is my book haul from the past two weeks. So I did a book haul post on the blog last week but I didn't do a video because I did my wrap up post for last month and also I only had two books and it just wasn't enough to show. I got quite a few books this week so I'm just going to combine the two weeks um, and do them together. So last week I got two books. I got Take Back the Skies by Lucy Saxon. I bought this one and I'm hoping to read it soon. Lucy is at YALC um, next month, which I'm going to. So I'm going to take this one with me to get signed by Lucy. So I'm really looking forward to reading that one. It sounds really good. It's a young adult and it's sci-fi. I also got <clears throat> City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This is a young adult paranormal romance book and it is book six in the Mortal Instruments. I went to see Cassandra Clare um, this week on the Wednesday um, just gone and got it signed. Um, we could only get one book personalised because there were so many books, um, people there and books to sign. So I didn't actually get this one personalised but it is signed by Cassandra. Um, I got Clockwork Princess signed because uh, the Infernal Devices series is actually my favourite by her. But this book, I've already read it, it's absolutely phenomenal and my review should be up on the blog within the next week. Um, so I have one non-book, it's book related but it's not a book to show you, which was when I went to the signing um, we also saw Sarah Reese Brennan again. I don't have any signed books from her because uh, the book I ordered to be signed by her didn't come in time, it only came today. So unfortunately I couldn't get that one signed but Sarah did give me a penny necklace which I love. So it's a UK penny on necklace. And I didn't really know the, um, the reason why for this, but I have heard that in her Lyburn Legacy series, which I haven't read yet, um, th one of the characters wears a penny on a necklace. So I'm sure when, I read, when I've read that series, I will understand it more, but I absolutely love that. I got quite a few books this week. Um, I'm going to start with my review books. I got two books for review, and they are both from HarperCollins. I got The Giver by Lois Lowry. Um, I requested this because I know that the movie will be coming out soon and the movie looks really good and I'm really looking forward to seeing it but I kind of want to read it first. It's quite a short book, it's quite thin so um, I'm sure it won't take me long to read and I really like this cover, this cover is very pretty. The other book I got for review is The One by Kira Cass. This is the third book in Kira's The Selection series and it's the last one in the series. It's a young adult dystopia and I loved the first two books. I am dying to read this one and find out who she chooses. Um, I'm team Maxon all the way so I'm hoping that this might symbolise a wedding dress and that she marries the prince because that would be the perfect ending for me. Um, the next few books are ones that I bought. Three are uh, bought, they're all bought, but three um, I just ordered and three were pre-orders. So the first one I just bought is 13 Weddings by Paige Toon. This is an adult um, chick lit book. I've read all of Paige Toon's books. I adore them. They are fantastic. Um, she is without a doubt one of my favourite authors in the world. I love her. So when I saw that this was already out, I couldn't help but get it and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Page Tune is just a fantastic author, so if you don't really read adult chiclet books but you're interested in them, um, Page Tune books are definitely ones to read because they're just fantastic. Uh, the next one I got is Untold by Sarah Rhys Brennan, it's the one that came this morning, and this is book two in the Wyburn Legacy. I ordered book one along with it, but that apparently is still in transit. Um, so that one hasn't come yet, even though they were sent at the same time. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this series. It sounds really good, it's supposed to be quite heartbreaking and play on your emotions a lot, so I'm actually really looking forward to, to that. Uh, it looks really good and this is a young adult and I think it's a paranormal book, but I haven't read it yet so I can't really tell. And the third one I bought is Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. I love this cover, it's so pretty and I believe it's a paranormal and witches 
I think or about a witch's curse or something like that. It sounds fantastic and I actually have a signed book plate from Danielle somewhere that somebody sent me. So I need to sort of locate where I put that because I got it a few weeks ago and um, get it on in this book. <laughs> so books I also bought, um, I got these ones quite cheap. They were from the works so they were on three for five pounds so I got six from there. So I got Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Corn and David Lethan. I have heard amazing things about this book. Everyone seemed to be going on about it when it first came out, so kind of couldn't resist when it was so cheap. I also got Jessie Loves New York City by Keris Stanton. Um, this is a young adult contemporary which I have heard great things of and it's just really pretty and I also got by Keris Staten Emma Loves LA so I have heard great things about this series so and these books I don't know whether they are a series but they look so pretty and they're really shiny so I love them I also got The Sound by Sarah Alderson and um, I got this especially because my mum has read all of Sarah Alderson books so I know she'll read it as well. I haven't actually read any of Sarah's books yet but I have, I love this cover and it sounds really good so I'm really looking forward to finally getting started on her books. I do have her others on my shelf they just haven't been read yet. Um, I got New Girl by Paige Harbison. I have Paige's other book um, Heal Ice Bridget on my shelf and this one is it just sounds fun. It's a YA contemporary and I love young adult contemporary books right now so I'm definitely looking forward to reading that one. And the last one I got was Red Hill by Jamie Maguire. I haven't read this yet, I've heard amazing things. I love Jamie's um, contemporary series so I'm really looking forward to this one. So yeah, that's what I got. So one of my pre-orders, I'm so excited about all of these, uh, the first one I have already read it. And it is Dark Days by Kate Ormond. I read an e arc of this and I loved it. And Kate sent me um, a signed book plate because she's not going to be at YALC. So um, that is actually with the book plate for Stolen Songbird. So I need to get it in this book. This is an amazing young adult dystopia book. This is the perfect one to read. Um, it's really unique and different to any of the others out there. It's one of my favourite young adult dystopias I've ever read. So this is definitely worth the read. I loved it. And the next two I've already read, but I read different editions because these are the new special editions. So the first one is Looks Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I had to get the hardcover because, well, it's Jen. Everyone knows how much I adore Jen. I've read all of her books. And when I heard that the special edition bind-ups were coming out in hardback, I had to get the hardback copies. So this one involves, um, has in Obsidian and Onyx, which is book one and two in the Lux series. I love that we, we still have Damon here, but he's sort of in the background. And the next one is Lux Consequences, which is have a look opal and origin and it also has the first chapter of opposition um, each of these have bonus material included which is amazing so they both have bonus material included so i'm really looking forward to seeing these new bonus edition um features and they are the special collector's edition books and I just love jen so much i have to get them i do like these new covers i wasn't so fussed on it when I first saw it because I love the old covers so much but I do love them now I have them in hardback and we still have Damon very faintly yeah yeah I love it so they are all the books I got but I had ordered some book related stuff so I'm going to show you them too first of all I got quite a few bookmarks and um, the book depository have these new bookmarks which um, readers have designed. So I've <laughs> sorry. So for all of those, um, 
for all the books I got that came from Book Depository, we get a new bookmark. So I have, I actually have four designs, but one I don't have with me because it's in my book that I'm reading downstairs. Um, but some of them are duplicates, so this one's a duplicate. Um, this isn't my favourite one, I don't really like that one very much. And we have this one. This has to be the one I like the most, uh, because it says, There is something incomparably thrilling in first opening a brand new book. I completely agree with that. I love that bookmark. It's so pretty. So, um, the next thing I got, um, I ordered these. So, I got these Books Are My Bag bookmarks. These are massive bookmarks. There's quite a few, so I'm probably, possibly going to do a giveaway with some of them. Um, and they all have different quotes on and it's about bookshops and how amazing they are. So I'm going to keep the one with my favourite quote on, like this, a quote from Mallory Blackman and different authors. And along with them, I finally got my hands on it. Books are my bag tote bag. I've been after one of these since they first came out, but by the time I got around to buying books, they'd all sold out in my area. Or they'd all been given away in my area. And I really wanted one, so I finally got my hands on one. I also ordered um, some special things from Vista Print. Um, I ordered a I Read YA book tote in purple. Um, I got this because I saw someone in the US with it that the publisher had um, sort of printed. But they, were only, they weren't for sale and they were only for the bloggers in the US. So I designed my own one. I read YA and I also got that you'll have to excuse that this mug is actually dirty because I've drank my coffee from it a I read YA mug and on the back it has Kelly at K books so it's my special YA book blog um, mug I got a pen with I read YA on and I ordered some business cards for my blog which I love these I love them. Aren't they pretty? I love them. I'm really excited to have them. So if I do giveaways and stuff like that, I'm sort of going to add one of those in with the, um, with the whatever it is one. And the last thing to show you is I ordered a shirt for me to wear to YALC when I go to the book convention. And I absolutely love how it's come out. So it's got me on. And on the back, blogging since 2011. I love this shirt. It's so amazing. I am now going to wear it to every event that I actually go to because I love it. So that's it for this week. Um, I might have a video next week. It depends how many books I um, get. I'm not actually buying a lot of books now after that big splurge I had this week. I'm going to try and not buy too many. Um, so we'll see how many I get, say if I get them for review and I might do a video. If not, I'll wait until I have enough to do a video. So thanks for watching. Bye.